So let's take a look at division. Uh, a basic division question, 8 divided by 4. What does that really mean when we ask 8 divided by 4? We're looking for a number that satisfies this equation. And you can look through the table and you can find here's an example of a, a location that sort of satisfies this division question. Uh, 4 times 2 certainly still equals 8 on this clock. But 4 times 5 and 4 times 8 also equal 8. So if I try to do the arithmetic question of 8 divided by 4 on this particular clock that we're looking at, I end up sort of confused of, I don't know, 8 divided by 4 has multiple answers, it seems. And on the other hand, 1 divided by 4 doesn't have any answers at all. So we've now seen some caveats. Does it make sense to do arithmetic on this clock? The answer is yes. You can do addition, subtraction, and multiplication. But division doesn't really work here. This distinction is the distinction between a ring and a field. What we've been talking about so far is ring arithmetic. And if we want to be talking about field arithmetic, we need division to work cleanly. I won't be too specific on what I mean by cleanly, but the sorts of problems we just ran into of some division problems have multiple solutions and some division problems don't have any solution is not something that we want to have. So. Here's what I mean by those caveats. In fact, I have a surprise one here. 4x equals 8 has three solutions. 4x equals 1 has no solutions. x squared equals 1 actually has four solutions on this clock. So if you're finding the, the pacing to be a little bit slow and want an arithmetic question to pursue on the side while I'm talking, feel free to try to find the four values on the clock that have the property that their square is equal to 1. I want to. Um, emphasize, I guess, before I get too far into this, how like K8 friendly all of these concepts are. Um, by the end of the talk, we're going to be getting into some stuff that's kind of like doing Algebra 2 over clocks. But at this stage, this is just a new world to play with arithmetic. And if you happen to have any kids in your life that are sort of, I don't know, between the ages of know what multiplication is, but haven't yet encountered finite fields in an undergraduate mathematics class. Introducing them to the idea that you can actually do arithmetic on a clock um, is a wildly powerful invitation to some super, super deep rabbit holes of mathematics. Um, if we sort of like go back to that multiplication table on this particular clock, um, there's all sorts of patterns that kids can really find and explore and wonder about. But the question remains, how do we sort of make division actually work cleanly here? Um, I don't like these caveats. I want the caveats to go away. And the way that we can make them go away is by looking at different size clocks. So we started with this 12-hour clock because that's the clock that we all know and use. but it turns out that if we change to a different size clock, things actually work out a lot cleaner. 